now see the red nose, R6. nose, Nessie. I did have antlers that went right here and right here, if you're on Instagram. But, uh, yeah, that's a no-go. I tried 3M, but it would not stay. That's pretty fucking cool, though. But, we still got the red nose. Like a red nose. Like a red nose something. Are you staying? You stay right there, nose! You stay right there! And you do not leave, or I kill you. Alright, what's going on guys? Why is it so dead on the road? Right, because it's so fucking early in the morning. Ah, uh, anyways. Uh, I want to do a little motorvlog today. About the Christmas spirit. Oh, fuck. Bye, humbug. Oh. If you guys watched uh, a lot of my motorvlogs, you know that uh, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. God, it's foggy out today. I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. Um, Christmas is like the opposite of Halloween. I fucking hate Halloween. Like, with a passion. Uh, it's so funny seeing people look at the red nose. I, 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 I told you earlier, I had antlers, but they just wouldn't stay. Like, they would go on there, but, but if I even, like, moved them a little bit, they would completely, like, wiggle and almost fall off. And, uh... It's, it's different, uh, I was trying to jimmy rig something and it wouldn't work, so. But whatever, I like my red nose. But uh, anyways, I want to talk about Christmas, and uh, I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of people are obviously not my religion, Christianity. Um, so whatever holiday you celebrate, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, um, blah, shit, I don't know what other fucking holiday there is. Well, happy holidays to you. Uh, it is December 2nd, I think. I don't fucking know what the date is. I just know if I work or don't work. Uh, and it's that time of year again. So what is, what is your guys' favorite thing about Christmas? Uh, I think my favorite thing about Christmas is seeing everyone wrapped up in like the scarves and, and just there's more, uh, there's more emotion going around this time of year. And I really like that. I'm a, I'm a, a pumpkin, or, I'm a teddy bear, that's the word, pumpkin, what the fuck? I'm a, I'm a teddy bear when it comes to Christmas. Yeah, and I'll, uh, for real, I don't go to church and everything like that, but if my work ever tried to work me on Christmas, I would tell them it's against my religion, because that shit ain't not happening. Down, we're counting down now, like 23 days. On the 23 day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 23 new motorcycles. That'd be nice. So yeah, guys, uh, what is your your favorite thing about Christmas and why? Um, I share a lot of Christmas memories with you guys. I think uh, I know everyone has different Christmas religions or Christmas uh, ways. Uh, for example, my fiance. She's Mexican and she celebrates it at midnight, like Christmas Eve on midnight, which I find is really weird. And, uh, oh, this fog is killing me. Uh, I find that really weird and I don't do that. Uh, we agreed to do it the way that I grew up doing it, simply because it's better for the kids. I just don't understand. How does Santa come into play when you fucking, you don't even go to bed. You stay up till midnight and as soon as midnight hits, holy shit, there's presents everywhere. Damn, Santa, you one fast ass motherfucker. I was just sitting at the dinner table and you passed me up. Speaking of Santa, we got Santa right next to me in the car. Hey, Santa. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ho, ho, ho. He looking at me all like, Alright, so, uh, go, motherfucker. So, what we did as a child, what I did as a child, is that, uh, you know, you go to bed, put the cookies out for Santa and the milk, and then my mom or dad would, like, eat one of the cookies. What am I kidding? Santa's real! 
presents out or my parents would put the presents out and stuff like that and uh, we'd wake up the next morning and stuff like that and you know you go to bed with nothing you know a couple presents under the tree nothing in the living room and then you wake up and come downstairs and like uh, there's presents everywhere and I remember I was a kid like two o'clock in the morning is fucking like late <laughs> like you don't ever stay up that late but you know now it's like every night but I mean I remember me and my little brother used to wake up at like two o'clock in the morning and go downstairs and be like wow look at all the presents and then realize they have to wait like another six hours and we used to like sleep on the couch downstairs and wake everyone up. That was the good old days. So again for you guys, what's your best Christmas memory? Mine for sure is waking up every morning as a kid and seeing all the presents. Without a doubt. I'm gonna get in front of you sir. Thank you. Someone, someone call Obama and tell him that Yummy R6 needs to be furloughed. But I need to get paid. I need money. I gotta pay my bills. I gotta buy cool stuff. Like a reindeer nose for my bike. <laughs> That's props of, uh, I put it on my, my Dixer last year, but um, I know someone said Motonocity said something about it in his video. So sir, Motonocity, I apologize. Check out his uh, his R1 because he put the nose on his R1 and his nose and his bike is red, so I think that'll look pretty fucking cool. I can't wait till he does a video of it. I gotta see it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I want to talk about something sad and not uh, too much fun today. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, I talked to him here and there uh, on Xbox, and I've talked to him a good amount. I've I've liked some of his videos. And um, I'm sure, you know, good, some of you know about him because, I, like I said, I've liked his videos. I've subbed to him. Uh, his name is Ghost Shifts. Uh, and unfortunately, two days ago, three days ago, uh, he, his bike was stolen. Um, he just recently moved to Florida, and uh, I guess where he lives is not the most famous place, apparently. Uh, and unfortunately, sometime overnight, the last the last couple of days, uh, like three days ago, overnight, someone decided to come to his house and steal his bike. Um, not really sure the full details on it, but I know you got to wait for insurance and stuff like that. Uh, good good news is that he did have full coverage on it. Um, bad news. He doesn't have a bike until the insurance company decides, oh yeah, the cops aren't going to find it. Because isn't it like the recovery rate, like 4%? Um, it's some bullshit rate that, you know, it's just, it's just so little of a rate. Why even try to look? Yeah, I know you should look, but it's just, it sucks. You know, I really feel bad for him. Um, his channel, his name is Ghost Shifts. I'm sub to him. But, uh... This brings me to the point, the R6 curse continues. Um, as you guys know, it's almost like a Yamaha curse. Shag in the wind got his R1 stolen. Fuck, how many, is, how many uh, R6s has Chase gotten stolen? About 30 million bajillion. Um, I know a couple other motovloggers, you know, they've, they've gotten their R6s stolen and, and somehow I'm still rocking on mine, but you thinking uh, you really gotta watch your shit and um, to people that can't live in a garage or can't have a garage you know I really recommend you get some type of serious security device Scorpio is a good brand they have some really cool ones but um, I would always keep my garage like I told you guys in my security video garage kept or, or, or nothing for me um, but I mean even at work I mean even though ghost ships in Florida at work, I'm going to be extra cautious now, you know. Because I know ghost ships was pretty upset, and I, I can't imagine what to do without, you know, your bike. And that shit got stolen. So, uh, uh, 
a, some words of wisdom, per se, to the person that stole his bike. I hope you fall off a cliff, break every limb in your body, and then a tiger comes and eats all your fingers, just your fingers, and then an eagle comes out and rips your intestines out, and then you still live. And then after you're still alive, I hope your body somehow tumbles into a river. And in that river, I hope you stay alive, but you're underwater and you can see everything. And then I hope all bunch of piranhas bite off your nipples. And then after that, I hope you get crushed by a crane, like a crane crushes you. And after the crane crushes you, I hope you die. So, uh, that's kind of to all you fucking bike thieves. Probably none on my channel, but just saying. And I hope you die just like that. You know what? Fucked up. Yeah, get a life. It's petty. It's ignorant. It's just fucked up. So, it is what it is, and the scum on earth, that's what they are, don't deserve to be here. But anyways, guys, I'm going to work kind of early, so I can get off kind of early as well, so... I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you guys have ever gotten your bike stolen, I know it's got to be a pretty heart-wrenching feeling. I know, I, I mean, I, I can't imagine the feeling. So feel free to feel uh, to share some stories, guys, and let me know what, what went on. If you got any bike still getting stolen history or stories. But I right, love you guys. I'm going to go into work, and I'll talk to you guys later. And man, did it feel like I hit, like, the freaking, you know, Powerball. When I got that 50 bucks, I was like, yeah! Fuck the world! I'm the richest motherfucker out of here! Yeah! I don't need none of you! That 50 bucks is gone in, like, 20 minutes.